Hey guys, so today I'm making a video, or tonight I'm making a video that I have made before. But you know, if you make YouTube videos and you make a video and then you watch it back and you're like, mm -mm, I don't like the way I look in this video, so that's me right now and I'm refilming it at a different time. Um, the clock just went back and now it gets super dark outside at like 6 o'clock and I'm just like is going on here so I had to change the light bulb in my light to a brighter light so I can feel my night so it's kind of like I got a ring light but it's like leg. so today's video is going to be a lip swatch a lip swatch video of drugstore liquid lipsticks for the fall or like the best fall liquid lipsticks colors whatever you want to call it and if you are a die-hard subscriber then you know my first video on this channel was a lipstick swatch video so you bring it back bringing it back to a year ago when I was filming on a potato just putting lipstick on but you know I don't want this intro to be too long or too boring so let's just get into the lipsticks that I will be swatching color I have is the color Devotion from Maybelline and it looks like this. It's just a your standard red color and these are their like liquid lipsticks or their Amour liquid lipsticks. They dry down very matte. Um, they take a little bit of building up but not too much which I like about them. Um, they, they are kind of drying sadly but a lot of liquid lipsticks are extremely drying. It's really rare that I find a liquid lipstick that doesn't make my lips feel like concrete. But what I find is when I have like lip gloss or chapstick underneath it, it'll still dry matte, but it won't be like super dry my lips, which I have done right now. And usually if I have no lip gloss or any chapstick underneath, it like dries instantaneously and it's automatically crusty and dry. But the color is nice, but it's just crusty and dry. So next we have um, the color Obsession from Milani's line. And this is my favorite color from the more matte line. Um, this is just like that perfect grape, deep purple color that everybody wants. Like it's not too dark, like not like black dark, but it's like grape dark, and it's already dry. And I just applied it. I think this is like just a perfect purple. Like it's not too dark, not too light, not too gothic scary looking it's just like a perfect balance of just like light and dark like fall and winter and i feel like this can also double as a summer color if you're like you know don't give a crap but this is i just think it's perfect like the perfect color the perfect purple are getting like red and I'm only the third color oh my god but anyways this is like my second favorite color from the um, Milani line it is the color covet and it's just your standard doo-doo brown this is like the perfect doo-doo brown color y'all this is literally doo-doo brown like you can see it's brown but it has like some dark forest green undertones just like doo-doo and I think it's just like this is like the perfect fall color. Everybody who has a lipstick collection needs a doo-doo brown because it's like 
whenever you wear it, everybody's just like, oh, girl, that color. I see you rocking that doodle around today. Ooh. Another color that can pass for like spring and like fall for me it just depends it just depends on the type of person that you are this is the color gorgeous from the same Milani line it's just a really it's like just a lighter version of this like a more berry version it's just like a light berry color but it can also work for the fall too like for me personally I feel like this is like a fall like beginning of fall, ending of spring, or ending of, or ending of summer color. I would definitely wear this in the fall and the in the winter actually. I just love this color altogether. It's like that pop of color that we all need in the fall and winter because we all think that fall and winter is just composed of dark colors, beefy colors, black and brown and doodle -doo green. But I feel like we all need that pop of color. And this is a pop of color that we all need. Like, it's like the perfect pop of fall. You know what I mean? deeper darker blacker purple and this is from the Maybelline vivid matte liquid you can't even see the name of it on this that's how dark the bottle is but it's in the color you can't even see it it's in the color possessed plum and the consistency slash formula of this isn't my favorite um it's more of a I don't know like a moussey like one step up from a like a lip lacquer or liqueur whatever it's called, like a lip lacquer like a one step up from that um it's too shiny for me like i have on no lip gloss under this and it's so shiny and it says vivid matte liquid and it's not really matte but i like the color this is definitely a the typical fall purple with a really dark blackish purple color um the color on the bottle it's definitely looks a little darker than it does on my lips i guess that's because you have to really apply 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 this is like two coats and it's so glossy and it's not as opaque as i would like it but i guess the more layers we add the darker it'll obviously get but the whole matte aspect of this i don't to see it and usually i'm late on makeup products so maybe there was a review on this somewhere on youtube and they said that about it but i haven't seen it because i'm just late on makeup trends and lip trends and stuff like that so yeah but overall this is like this the um typical fall purple fall slash winter purple color that everybody has the dark like mysterious color and this is it but it's just not matte and it takes color I have is from the Maybelline color sensational line um this is in the color Raging Raisin 755 it is a reddish brown -ish color and it is matte I believe or something like that I think it's matte it looks pretty matte to me this is like a reddish brown red purple brown color by the way the reason I'm like looking like this because I have a mirror right here but yeah it's like a reddish brown matte color it's not dry on my lips which is why I'm using the term matte very loosely it's like creamy but it still looks matte on the lip but it doesn't feel matte on the lip which is what I look for in every liquid lipstick but I have yet to find one um that gives you that matte look without the matte feeling and this definitely definitely does that 
I think the color is beautiful. It's just like, you know, it's brown, but it's not brown. It's like red, but it's not red. It's like dark purple, but it's not purple. It's like reddish, purplish brown, all in one color. This next color I have is literally an exact, not like an exact, but it's kind of like a dupe to like Max Stone. It's in the color gray over it from the same um, color sensational line from Maybelline. It's literally like a stony color and I'm obsessed with it because I've been obsessed with Max Stone for my whole life, but I never had the guts to fork over $17 on one little bitty tube of lipstick so the fact that I found this cushion from the color sensationals and this is in the color midnight blue which is again kind of for me a dupe for the matte royale from mac which is a blue color that is extremely similar to this except for the mac ones are just a little smidge 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 smidge, smidge more matte than these but again i like that matte look without the matte feel type of formula and these definitely give me that this color mm, this is one of the colors that not everybody's gonna love once again because some people don't like colorful lipsticks they like you know the standard colors so when they see somebody with the blue on they're like ooh what's she doing she needs to stop she thinks she's being different well guess what I am being different but anyways I love colorful lipsticks like this and this is like a dark one so this is still geared towards like fall slash winter it's like a dark color the next two colors i have are lip lacquers which i'm not going to swatch which are from revlon because my camera's dying and i don't have time to put it all over again two times so i'm just gonna <laughs> but they are basically lip lacquers which are different from the glosses in the sense the lighting <laughs> okay in the sense that lip as you can tell from like the wand and everything, it's just super thick lip gloss, which some people might not like because some people don't like that sticky lip gloss feeling. And I, I get that, but I love that sticky lip gloss feeling. Okay. So this is that one. And for some reason, the colors aren't really on here. This is, this is in the color HD. Chameleon, HD Chameleon, but you probably can't see it. But it doesn't matter because I'm gonna have everything linked down below, and I'm actually serious this time. I never link anything down below, but guys, I'm so serious when I say I have everything linked down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any video requests, make sure you leave them down below because I don't know what to record right now, and I'm just buying a little bunch of makeup, and I don't know what to do because y'all are not leaving me video requests, and I have no inspiration right now. So please leave me a video request. Yeah, thanks for watching.